Hey, I'm Pastor Jim, and I want to welcome you to Day 3 of Holy Week. Today is Holy Wednesday. Holy Wednesday remembers a day when both faithful Mary and treacherous Judas prepared Jesus to die. Now, after an increasingly public string of challenges to both Rome and the temple system, the religious elite believe that Jesus is a threat to their kingdom and their religion. You can read that in John chapter 11, verse 48. If Jesus is not killed, they believe Rome will come and take little power they have left and destroy their temple. Now, believing it's better for one man to die than for a whole nation and a whole religious system to be lost, the religious elite make their final plans to kill Jesus. Meanwhile, a woman named Mary takes a jar of perfume valued at 300 pieces of silver or a year's salary. She cracks it open, pours it over Jesus' head and his feet, and rubs it into his skin with her hair. Now, it's not only lavish, but it's socially awkward and humiliating. Horrified, Judas speaks up for the disciples, and he says that Mary's display was wasteful and argues that perfume should have been sold and spent on the poor. But Jesus quiets Judas and tells his disciples, Mary is doing the right thing. And he says this, catch it out, catch it. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Now, Jesus is not dismissing the care for the poor with this statement. He's highlighting the value of what he has come to do. See, like the religious elite, what they have said is the only way to save God's people is if he is killed. Mary understands that Jesus must die, so she embalms him in advance. To her, it was not a waste to offer her most precious possession if it prepares Jesus' for the burial that will save God's people. But Judas, he realized Jesus is no longer useful to him. So he sneaks away and tells the religious elite that he will betray Jesus for a tenth of what Mary poured out. Now, strangely, everyone in the story is preparing for Jesus to die. After all, Jesus had mentioned it many times. The religious elite offered a bribe to more easily capture Jesus. Judas betrays Jesus for another month's expense, and but yet Mary prepares to, for him to be laid in a tomb. Even more strangely, everyone believes Jesus must die in order to save them. Ju Judas thought Jesus' death would save his financial status. The religious elite thought that Jesus' death would prevent Rome from breathing more heavily down their necks. But Holy Wednesday is good news not for those reasons. It's good news because Jesus announces that his death will save God's people, not from Rome or poverty, from death itself. Mary had just seen Jesus raise her brother Lazarus from the dead, and now she hopes that if Jesus dies, that all God's people can be saved from death. Jesus is worth her most precious possession because Jesus has the power to give eternal life to all who ask. So, I pray that on this Holy Wednesday, you'll accept that Jesus must die in order to save his people from death forevermore.